far. I've just been riding her in the round pin and we've learned how to flex and back up. And then we learned how to yield our, her hips on the ground. And today is we're gonna do the first ride outside of the round pin. Before I head out of the round pin, I'm gonna warm her up in the round pin where she's used to riding and stuff. Walk. Walk. A strange fact that I've come to see over the years of training horses is that with every little bit more freedom a young horse has, the more reactive they will be. So when you're in a tight, confined area like this, round pen, they know to be good and they're calm and, and pretty safe to ride. They get out in the bigger barn area, they get a little bit more um, unpredictable or more, you know, more likely to act up. And that's why you'll see later when we do our first trail rides, I'm always in the woods on a tight trail where they know to go down the trail. Some people think it would be easier to start in the field because they would be less things to spook at, but it's actually just the opposite. The more confined a young horse feels, the more likely they are to behave. As with all our young horses, we never get on and let them walk off. We always make them stand, relax, back up, get control of their feet in all eight directions, meaning all four diagonals, and forward, backward, left, and right, do circles, anything to have control of their feet and get control of their mind. And also, we like to get on and off of a two-year-old multiple times before we let them walk off because that teaches them patience and that being mounted doesn't mean it's time to go. That's what teaches a horse to be uh, fidgety and to move when riders are trying to mount them. So Becca's just getting control of her feet here and we're going to get ready to start making laps. I jumped on my project horse here, April. There's several videos on my channel with me training April. Her training has progressed enough that I feel fairly confident on her that I'd be able to help Becca in case of any emergencies or anything going wrong. And I have very good control of April and she's very calm, which will help Ozark in turn be calm and controlled. For those who know, watching this first straight stretch of Ozark being ridden, there's just an extreme amount of quality in that stride. She's smooth and reachy, and even though she's only 14 hands, you'll see Becca ask me to go faster because she looks like she's going slow, but she has so much reach, we're going pretty quick. Close, too close, back up. <laughs> back up. 
After a little while, we'd turn direction so Becca could lead so that she can pick the pace that she feels comfortable going, and I would just follow along for support. You ready to hit a trail? We could lead her to the first trail and then get on. Learning to steal, steer in the woods is easier than learning to steer in the barn. Okay, YouTube. We led them to this first trail because when you get on them in the woods, and there's only one way to go up and down the trail. They seem to calm down a lot and pretty fast. This may seem like I'm rushing Becca and this little horse a lot, being how it was their first time being ridden out of the trail, uh, out of the round pen, and I'm already taking her to a trail. But horses are intelligent animals, and their brains need to be occupied, and they like to be challenged. And I just know that a young horse like this, that is gentle natured, will learn ten times as much on in twenty minutes on a trail as she will as in an hour being ridden around a barn. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Okay, first trail ride, what do you think? Going good. Going really good. My horse feels like she's pedal powered right now because she rode this morning and she's tired. This will be her first, her first downhill, huh? Yeah, I knew to get the camera on. And Colts, first time they have to walk downhill with weight on them, it's always tricky. Nope, walking out nice and calm. Now you'll notice a couple things in some of my other videos. I normally say that I don't ever ride a two-year-old horse downhill because I think it's harder on them. But Becca has been riding this horse a long time in the round pen, and she's just been kind of scared to take the next step. So this horse is already legged up and has built some muscles. Becca's a couple hundred pounds lighter than me, and she's a stout little mare, so this time we didn't get off plus we've only been riding about 10 minutes now the mare's not tired yet uh we don't even break up sweat in the first several trail rides Sometimes they get out in the field, they act a little more knuckle-headed, but she doesn't seem to be minding. I want to see how she does on her first creek crossing. <laughs> No problem, oh. Yeah. Some horses that are raised in stalls or uh, paddocks or lots have quite a bit of trouble with their first creek crossing, but this little mare runs loose in our 80 acre pasture where the same creek crosses it multiple times. So creek crossings aren't gonna be an issue with her.
Thanks for going along on that trail ride with us. I think Becca has done a really awesome job on her little mare, and she's going to make a very good horse for her. Uh, it's not very often you see a 14-year-old girl that has enough work ethic and gumption and skill to be able to start a two-year-old without any help from any adults. Um, I haven't even supervised her on this little mare very much because this is the third one that she has trained. And uh, I hope you all follow us and like and subscribe and follow along with Ozark's progress through the upcoming show season. Mm -hmm.